Are you wondering what's the best Android TV box for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best Android TV boxes on the market. This list was made based on our personal views, and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Leobox Q4 Max. This Leobox Q4 Max TV box is equipped with an updated operating system, which is faster and more efficient. The Android Q4 Max box has a better compatibility of software, games, and applications, a better user interface and user experience. The Q4 supports 3D and 4K content and comes equipped with Android 8.1 already installed, so you don't need to be concerned about updating the OS for a while. Its remote has a nice long 50-foot range, making it suitable for big entertainment areas. At 3.94 by 3.94 by 1.06 inches, the Leobox Q4 Max isn't the smallest Android TV box out there, but it is compact enough to set it up discreetly with your entertainment system. Design-wise, it has a traditional box shape which we found to be pretty standard. As for performance, the Leobox Q4 Max uses a professional RK3328 Quad-Core Cortex-A53 processor and comes with the latest Android 8.1 OS, which makes sure the Android TV box is running faster and more efficiently to watch movies and play games, without buffering in the apps you prefer, like Netflix, IPTV, Showbox, and so on. So you have no need to wait for the stream to catch up. Moving on, the USB 3.0 can transfer large capacity files, such as HD movies and can optimize the machine to reduce energy consumption. In addition, the Leobox Q4 Max supports decoding and playing almost all popular audio and video formats, which allows you to enjoy 4K Ultimate HD video. And moreover, its H.265 decoding will save 50% more bandwidth than H.264, so you can play thousands of Android games on a pretty large 4K screen and enjoy a higher quality experience with less buffering, which is pretty impressive. It's worth mentioning that by pairing it with a speaker, mouse, and keyboard, you can have a richer and more fluid viewing experience without having to move from your favorite couch. To conclude, it's perfect for those looking for an affordable but good performance Android TV box with installation and setup that's incredibly simple. At number 4 is the NVIDIA SHIELD TV Gaming Edition. The NVIDIA SHIELD TV is a full-featured streaming box that runs on the latest Android OS. This means it has both Google Assistant and Chromecast functionality built right in, along with a host of other great features including gaming. All of that makes the NVIDIA SHIELD a standout product. Design-wise, the NVIDIA SHIELD TV is a neat and sleek streaming box with that angular gamer aesthetic and is black with matte and glossy parts. It is also compact enough to sit almost anywhere without taking up much space. Its green LED lights lets you know when the Shield TV is powered on and fits the lovely green color scheme that NVIDIA is recognized for. Inside the box is the Tegra X1 chipset, which is the very same CPU found in the Nintendo Switch. And this sits alongside 3GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. There are two specific models available to buy, one that comes only with the Shield remote and the other that includes both the gamepad and a remote. Typically, if you're not going to be gaming at all, then I'd suggest you go for the basic model. More on the gaming controller, the ergonomics are superb and it manages to retain the polygon aesthetics without being uncomfortable, which to me indicates good knowledge of gaming hardware. When it comes to storage options, you can decide if you want to go with NVIDIA Shield TV 16GB model 
or the larger NVIDIA Pro 500GB. It will depend on how you consume media. Additionally, you'll be able to access the best Android apps, which includes all the most popular services like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Spotify, etc. Along with media streaming platforms like Kodi and Plex, for those who have their media collections they want to enjoy. To conclude, while it's a bit pricier than other Android TV boxes, it also offers so much more. Not everyone will want an NVIDIA Shield, but those who are looking for a hybrid game console and streaming box may find that it fills a useful niche and would be the perfect fit. At number 3 is the Gubang Du A Box A1 Max Android 7.1 TV Box. The level of compatibility is one major factor to look out for when shopping for the best Android TV box. The Gubang Du TV box is a high quality Android 7.1 TV box that has been designed to offer you a great entertainment experience. So let's see why it made our top 5. Starting with a striking design which has interesting geometric detail, with a blue digital clock on the front. It's portable, fashionable, and durable, which makes sure it will never be outdated for your home theater system. It has a sleek user interface, running on Android Nougat 7.1.2. The A-Box Max TV box has 2GB RAM and 16GB storage space, which is enough for installing any of your desired apps and you will not have to worry about video interruptions and picture distortion. The processor is powered by Adopt M-Logic Quad-Core Cortex-A53 2.0GHz 64-bit CPU, 2GB DDR3, and 16GB eMMC. So whether you're streaming in HD 4K or HDR, you'll get clear immersive picture quality that's optimized for your TV with crisp details and vibrant color. As for setting up, we particularly liked how you simply plug it into your TV and you're good to go. Plus, if you're running with 4K HD, every movie, game, and video will be crystal clear and will make for easy viewing. Moving on, the A-Box has on-screen programming which is user-friendly and reasonably intuitive. It provides a nice customization option, allowing you to add your favorite apps to the home screen, and also enjoy access to Netflix, Kodi, YouTube, and Facebook. It's worth mentioning the memory can also be expanded via micro SD card up to 32 gigabyte, so you don't have to be worried about running out of space. To conclude, the sky's the limit for what this Gubang Do TV box can do. It's reliable and trustworthy, so is a good choice and one we would recommend. At number 2 is the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. Amazon's Fire TV Stick is one of the most popular media streamers for two reasons. It's price and it's invisible. Plugging into an HDMI port out of sight behind your TV. Let's see why this is such a popular choice with users. Design-wise, if you're familiar with the Fire TV Stick, there's not much to say about the design. It looks the same, albeit 23mm longer, and has the same micro-USB connector for power, and comes with a short HDMI extension in case your TV's design won't allow the Stick 4K to plug directly into an HDMI input. Moving on, the processor in the Stick 4K is 80% faster than the non-4K Stick and it's inadvisable to try and power it from one of your TV's USB ports. In addition, there's built-in 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, but unlike the early Fire TV Stick models, this one has a redesigned internal antenna, which is optimized for streaming 4K video. It isn't just 4K support at 60 frames per second that Amazon has added. It also supports HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision as well as the less demanding HDR10 standard. Plus, the Stick 4K supports Dolby Atmos, which the cheaper Stick version doesn't. Of course, your TV set will need to be attached to the correct Atmos surround sound system if you want to hear it. Arguably, the new remote is the most exciting part of the design. There's a mic button which you hold down to talk to Alexa. 
That's not new, of course, but the power and volume buttons are. These are configured during setup to control your TV or soundbar using infrared and make the remote a whole lot more useful. We found that navigating around the Fire 4K interface is smooth, and the more powerful quad-core processor certainly does an excellent job. The 4K streams from Amazon Prime Video. At least it starts fast and doesn't falter if you ask Alexa to jump ahead two minutes on the play, or go back 30 seconds. To conclude, there are plenty of alternatives, but none can match its broad support for the various HDR standards the Fire TV Stick supports at this price. And for most people, the Stick 4K is the best value streaming device right now. At number 1 is the Xiaomi Mi 4K Box. The new Xiaomi Mi Box brings the latest in Android TV for an even more affordable price than the original version. Here's what you need to know. Design-wise, the box is square and measures around 3.5 by 3.5 inches, or 10 by 10 centimeters. On top of the device is the Xiaomi logo, while on the back there's a primary HDMI port, a USB port, a 3.5 millimeter audio port, and a power port. The box in general is certainly minimalistic, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Moving on to setting up the Xiaomi Mi Box, and it's very easy as you should expect. Simply just connect the HDMI port to your TV or a receiver, and the power to an outlet, and you'll be good to go. It's worth adding the USB port is full-sized for hard drives or external controllers. Apart from supporting high-resolution 4K video, the Mi 4K box also has Android TV 8.1 built into the device, which means that you'll have the benefit of the vast Android TV ecosystem of apps, plus services like Google Cast and the ability to mirror your Android phone, Google Assistant, and more. In addition, the remote is fairly basic too, which we see as a good thing. At the top, there is the power button, and directly under this, you have the voice search button. That's helpful to activate Google Assistant, which you can use to manage smart home devices and control your TV. And under that, there's a direction pad and selection button, then an apps button, back button, and home button. It's all pretty easy to get used to, and users who are familiar with Android TV devices and how they're configured will have no trouble using this remote. To conclude, if you're looking for an Android-based streaming TV box and don't want to spend too much, then the Xiaomi Mi 4K box is a solid budget device to go for, and one we would suggest checking out. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you.